artificial intelligence that's happening right now. We are, we are going through an inflection point in the human story. And the question is, uh, will we survive it or not? Um, I'm less worried about the technologies like AI than I am worried about the well-known technology of nuclear weapons. That technology worries me a lot uh, because uh, the fact of the matter is that we are living at a point of so much hostility and so much hatred and so much anger in the world that it is not impossible that nuclear missiles will be fired, perhaps even within our lifetime. And why does that happen? That happens because the leaders of the world, the governments of the world, they all have the psychology of 14-year-old teenage males. Uh, but why do you say that? Because they're, they're just constantly engaged in warfare and anger and ego contests with one another. They are not, their level of consciousness is not mature enough to have the ability to control weapons that could destroy the whole of civilization in a single day. We, we, we have put in the hands of these naughty teenagers the weapons of gods, uh, and that is a very dangerous place to be. We need, we need an elevation of consciousness amongst our leaders uh, in order to make the world a safer place. Uh, and perhaps the first thing that would happen with that elevation of consciousness would be less hostility, less fury, less anger, and an elimination entirely of nuclear weapons. We, no, nobody has nuclear weapons because they want to attack other people. We have nuclear weapons because we think we want to defend ourselves. But what a terrible way to defend ourselves if it means that humanity dies out completely. It's obviously a, an insane idea. Well, it was called mad, mutually assured destruction. Um, and and, and that, is a, that is a result of a state of mind that lives in fear uh, and that has not fully conquered its own emotions uh, and, and, and is unwilling to, to seek friendship when hostility is an easier option. Uh, that was fine when we had swords and spears. It was even fine when it was just machine guns and rifles. But now that we've got nukes, it's not fine anymore. And we're possibly the first civilization on this planet that could be responsible for its own complete destruction. There would be survivors, if there were survivors, from North America or Britain, Northern Europe. They'd be wise to take refuge amongst the few remaining hunter-gatherer populations in the world today. Because the one thing about hunter-gatherers is that these are people who know how to survive. Those of us in technological societies, many of us haven't got a clue about how to survive. We just don't know how to do it. And we'd be psychologically destroyed by the collapse of our civilization. We would, we would fall to pieces. The only people in the world who would pass through such a disaster relatively intact would be, for example, the hunter-gatherers in the Amazon rainforest. Um, and I'm kind of suggesting that's what happened at the end of the Ice Age too. Uh, just as we would take refuge amongst hunter-gatherer communities, perhaps share with them some of what we knew, and at the same time, they're sharing with us what, we, what they know so that we can survive in their jungle. I think the same thing happened in the past too.